Well, um, hello. Hello again. It's Lee and Belinda from Chateau Marais, and oh, we're off on a bit of a bumpy ride. I'm going to get my hair cut. <laughs> Literally, we're going across three fields off road to our friend's house. These are our friends, Joan and James, and uh, we're very fortunate we could get there off road. We're going to show you something called a chemin. A chemin is a path or a um, so here we are, we're just coming to the end of our drive, that's our private drive, just turning onto the road, it's a very small road as you can see, it's really a little country lane, and any minute now they're going to turn... The is behind those trees over there, to the right, and that's where we're going. So, so another reason for us filming today and showing you this route um, to Joan and James's lovely house is the fact that they live next door to a, wait for it, a chateau. Yeah, I think they might be. He's always got a dark scene now. Yeah. So um, you have to watch really carefully driving down here because, and I've actually got the windows open, which is not a very clever thing to do. Into a tree that's gonna um, because sometimes the whole tree place. will come in the window. Like. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them, all the mummies and babies. I think it's tea time in the shade for them. So we've actually got out of the car to um, film this chateau which is just over there to my left i don't know if you can hear well you, oh, yeah you, you can. can hear that they're hunting so the hunts, the hunts uh, are happening over there on the right so we're just being a bit careful yeah we don't want to get attacked by hunt cars. dogs um, there's the chateau in here it's like a secret gem isn't it hidden yeah. away through if you the can trees see it properly there. from here i don't know what century it is what do you think lee i think it's about 18. It's the 19th century. 18th century, oh, 18th late century. 18, early so 19th. in the 1700s, I always get confused. Yeah. So we've arrived at Jones, who are hosting a barbecue tonight. Jones here with her daughter, Nikki, and her daughter, Fleur. So there's three generations of Jones family. Joan live, and James live in the gatehouse, which is the gatehouse to the chateau. So I'm just doing a quick walk down the drive to show you what the drive's like and to show you what the gatehouse looks like and then i'm going to take you around the chateau not inside because we can't go in it's for sale it's empty and it's locked up but the outside is totally visible so this is the gatehouse and this is the the reprobates that turned up early for a barbecue including me and belinda so here's everyone this is graham trevor joan belinda you know James, you know, cheers everybody. take a stroll up Joan and James's path and then we're going to go and look in their walled garden. <laughs> yeah. This is a thing of beauty the walled garden. Walled garden is nice yeah. <sighs> oh there's a few tomatoes on the compost. That's an old frame that we stay here when this was once the the main chateau's kitchen garden uh, it's completely walled and it's got its own central well which is what that is in the center of the photo <coughs> and uh, the water pump from the well is what waters the garden and I understand there's some fish in here it looks a bit green, doesn't it? Doesn't look the green fish. Well. There they are. Well, they're all the over there, there looking very still. Like golden oh. Right, so this so is the empty pretty. chateau and the front, or the rear garden, but it looks more like the front actually. When you come round, you can see 
the main entrance. That's uh, not been lived in for about 30 years. It's, it's got a lovely main entrance to it. Uh, it's not up. It's up for private sale at the moment from the farmer. The farmer's house is just over there. You can see. In, this a, is a walled garden it's in and the unique thing about this chateau it hasn't got hundreds of acres of land with it which is, which is really nice when you don't have to look after it all so i'm going to take it down the side there, there's a pigeonier uh, where they used to keep all the pigeons obviously there's enough space here i'm not trying to sell this place but there is enough space to put a pool in if you wanted to so this is down down the side you've got this lovely little uh, covered porchway uh, for this kitchen. that's the side entrance from the kitchen and down the stairs under the railings goes into the extensive cellarage we've been in Belinda and I've been hear in that noise that's the hunts yeah they're over in the field they're hunting wild boar. yeah so here we go and it's as you can see it's fairly unspoilt landscape the big tree with the wall around it is actually a river that they can control and dam up when they want to or open up when they want to I'm being a bit careful because just parked over there is a, a guy's van with the doors open. He's got dogs in it and I think he's part of the hunt. And if I spin you around now, you can see the rear elevation of the chateau itself. Very pretty. And Belinda in there. Now, when we went in, there has been some renovation works. Uh, there's still quite a lot of original features, uh, but it's going to need some restoration work. But it's a beautiful place in a lovely setting. I'll just spin, slowly take you around. You can see the weather's lovely here. And nice fields. The farmer owns the fields there. They're not going to get built on. They are for cattle and agricultural use only. Uh, this is all the garden that comes with the chateau. So it's right down beyond those large trees. Yeah, right up to the tree line there. I'd say it was about an acre, maybe slightly less. And one less wild boar I think and that's the hunting horn you can hear hi everybody we wish we could be filming this outside <coughs> today but to be honest it's it's beautiful it's sunny it's what my mother would have called a very good drying day though because it's so windy and we just think the sound quality wouldn't work so we're inside we're in the salon in the chateau and we just wanted to say we hope you enjoyed the little whistle stop tour uh, across the chemin, across the fields, to our neighbour's place, Joan and James, and the pretty little chateau that's next door to them. Yeah, we, just, we actually filmed it uh, a, a day or so ago. ago. Yeah, um, but so we're just trying to put a final end into it, and we just ran out of time and it was getting dark. So, so sorry, it's sorry another day. <laughs> we have been very busy, um, so thank you. We just want to thank you so much for mm. watching our films. Uh, and liking them and all of your comments and questions which to be very frank with you we really this time haven't had a lot of time to look at or even to answer and but we will get to doing that um, another thing we just wanted to mention was this chateau that's three fields away I think we said it was it's up for sale so yeah if you fancy being our neighbours about 400,000 euros it's not too bad is it so for, a, for a beautiful place like that and we feel one of the distinct advantages of that chateau is it doesn't have a lot of land so i think people typically have quite an ambition when they buy a chateau to have lots of land around them we've got more than we bargained for here and believe us it's it's lovely and we do manage it but it is quite a responsibility there's plenty of room to build a pool there isn't there's there there's room to build a pool yeah and we're not trying to oversell this to anyone but it's just we thought you might find it interesting yeah. the surrounding land is actually owned by the farmer so it's agricultural land and there's cows and horses and that grazing on it um and it's quite rural so you're not going to get uh anyone build a block of flats next door certainly not <laughs> it's not like um lewisham so once again, we would like to thank you for watching our films. We are very grateful. Please tell all your friends, carry on subscribing and goodbye for now. And we'll see you as soon as we can. Thanks very much. We're, we're planning to do um, a Q&A session next time because uh, we've had a number of questions that we need to answer. So if you've got any questions, um, just um, send them in either on the YouTube vlog or on our website. That'd be great. And we'll 
put up a film and answer all the questions that you have. Anyway, until then, goodbye. Bye.